Hi, this is Craig Hutchinson with NewYorkRebels.com. After a second defeat in a row, the team looks to halt the skid against Columbus Crew on Thursday night in a battle for first place. Two league games in a row, the team's been shut out. What do you think the attack needs to do to try and uh, start creating some goals against Columbus? We were in a situation to create some chances, I think we were just missing the last pass. I think that's something we worked on today in practice, we're going to continue on Wednesday and hopefully we can um, do better in the game. If you hit the target or, or not, in a way, I don't bother. I think it's more about how many times you can break them down, how many times you can finish even if the goal is safe or if it's shots outside. So. I think we, we have worked a long time now in a way with from midfield up to strikers. We need probably a couple of more players who take runs in a way to stretch the defense. And because we've been playing mostly in front of the back four and there's no threat then. Columbus have been very good over the last few seasons. What do you, what do you think makes them so dangerous? Are they solid? They're a very solid team. You can see they don't concede many goals. They are well organized. And even if they're that type of team, when they have a bad day, they pick up a late winner or something like that. And that shows that you are a consistent team and always will be in the top. They are probably one of the better teams in the league, and uh, in the, at least in the last couple of years. They have a squad that has been together for you know a couple of seasons already. They know it very well each other, and, and we gotta you know make sure that we're our best in order for us to, to get a result because they're I think they've been, they've been beaten this year, and, uh, and we need to bounce back from you know the Seattle game. Every game in a way is important, but most I would say that when you lost two games, you just have to, in a way, get points. I don't bother if it's a tie or whatever it is, but you have to make that kind of run as short as possible. The winner of Thursday night's game will be uh, all alone at the top of the East. Do you think that adds a bit of uh, extra spice to the game? Oh yeah, definitely. I think we all, you know, we all know the top two spots go to playoffs, but no one, you know, we all shooting for the first stop, first spot. So. I think the team will be ready um, and respond well after the loss on, uh, to Seattle. It's always important just to get results against you know, the better teams in the league. And it's important for us, just as I said, just to bounce back from you know, our previous you know, defeats. And uh, we need to uh, get our confidence back and hopefully get a result. In terms of personnel for Thursday's game against Columbus, are the players that picked up knocks on Saturday going to be OK? Are you going to have to change the team? Somehow? I think we have to change. It looks like that. It looks like, yeah, Salou will be away for around, I would say, 10 to 14 days with a hamstring. Joel will have a scan today with his groin. Robinson's knee was swallowed up after the game. And Brian Nielsen also got the problem with his earlier surgery with his knee. So. It's, it could be, uh, it will definitely be some changes, that's for sure, I don't know how many.